thanks a lot for the director of marketing here and my brothers to be Hollywood. And um, thank you for coming. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, afternoon so far. We're looking forward to showing to you our latest edition of the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in Hollywood with J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World, the Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts exhibit. But before we get you upstairs, we have a special guest that we'd like to introduce you to. Dan Fogler plays the lovable known match Jacob Kowalski.
So you had a chance to see the exhibit. Yes. Tell us what do you think? It's cool. I, I mean, the minute I look at something, I just like all of these amazing memories just fall back. It's such an enjoyable thing to, to have. I think it's amazing how much like memory can be locked into an object or a costume, and I think that just shows how huge an experience it was for me in my life, and really for everyone who's going to come and see see this. So as a fan myself. Awesome. Is there a particular proper costume that uh, you're excited to see? Um, well, I hear they have my wand, so. Woo! <laughs> 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 the wand there. <laughs> ah, <yeah. laughs> I was thinking earlier, oh, no, I should have like, changed her. It's not a plate. So there's a little backstory. So we got, this is her actual wand uh, from Harry Potter, and we had it flown in from London, and it arrived wow. today. Wow. Uh, today. Wow. Um, so, what would you say to fans uh, who are listening for the tour? Um, and what, what would you tell them? Um, well, I'm not someone who really loves to see, like, I quite like to feel like I can hold things and touch things and see them and see the textures. And I think for anyone who's coming to the exhibition, I think even though it's beautiful when you see a movie, it does sometimes feel like a little bit removed. So I think to be able to be in the company of these costumes and and these environments and sets that we, you know, we have memories attached to these props is really exciting and I think that can be a really fun, as an intimacy to experience, I think it's really cool. Um, and I think it's also a great honour to the amazing creatives that create as well. Be that Stuart Craig who designed the films and has gone on to also design fantasy piece and I think to see his amazing ability to create Joe Rowling's incredible world into a physical form is really cool. So I think it honors all the work that really went into these films. It wasn't just, um, yeah, all time on the computer. That's fantastic. Thank you, Ron, for coming. Yeah. We really appreciate it. So you guys are going to get to see the costumes, props, and some of the set pieces from uh, Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts. But before we go, is there, is there any sort of spell you can cast to make sure that we're really successful? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> My favorite spell is something you don't want me to do. Yes, no. 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 Yes,
two younger ones don't like them, my two older ones are okay. They, they got so close to it, you know? It's like, it, it's amazing. Dobby! Map. Dobby! Oh no, they have him in a little butt! <laughs> Get out of there! Oh! Wait a minute, is this, I feel like it's gonna work. Is it gonna work? We're gonna wait to find out. <sighs> better be... Oh my God. Gryffindor! <sighs> Congratulations! <laughs> Welcome to the winning team. This thing is so gigantic and you get hit with waves of how globally you know, huge it is. And all the talent and all the layers that went into it, it's so great to see it in this museum, you know, fashion. It makes me think about how my parents will, will feel coming through here, you know, my kids. And see it through their eyes and, and say, wow, you know, daddy is uh, represented here, man. Uh, isn't that cool? Sometimes you're in something and it, it's just so big that you can't, you, you can't see the edges of it. You know, that's what this feels like. It's just so big. I just want to just try to enjoy the ride. You know, this is so, so, so cool. Um, and it's an absolute honor to be part of this all. I will always love that speakeasy scene, the blind pig, um, because it just has so much in it, you know? It's like, there's music and there's fun bits with the giggle water and the, and the uh, and Queenie and Tina, they just look gorgeous, you know? And it's just like, and so the, and then, and then uh, Ron Perlman, oh my God, there's like so many different awesome things in that scene and I, I just, Seeing all the art from that was really cool. You know, my great grandfather was a baker, and I found that out because I did this movie. You know, I wouldn't have known that. Like, I, I got the part, and my my dad was like, "You know, your, your great grandfather's a baker," and I was just like, "Get out of here!" I mean, uh, and that was just a little gem from my past, and it made just made things so special. You know, and then I know that he's looking down and just smiling about all this. My great, great grandfather who used to make pumpernickel, you know? Yeah, it's exciting. The minute stepping um, into the exhibition, obviously everything just floods back of memories. And I think the minute I see certain costumes, I'll imagine like a certain scene and then the day we shot that and all the fun memories that were around it. So it's really lovely. And as you can imagine, I spent a lot of time with my wand. So for me to come back to that is a really cool, exciting thing, yeah. And here it is. I also I should have named my wand, but maybe it's never too late. <laughs> she was cool. I, it was really cool as well because we all got to choose our ones. Like it wasn't like given to us. Like this is Ginny's wand, and we I remember the experience. We had like they had a whole table of maybe like ten, 
and whichever spoke to me for Ginny, I could choose, which was really cool. Which kind of, I guess, is my own miniature version of going to Ollivander's, but not really. But, you know, it was good. For fans, you know, these costumes and props were such a big part of their experience whilst watching Harry Potter, yet they didn't get to see the detail. And I think so much was, um, you know, by all the people who made the props and Stuart Craig who designed all of the films, like, no stone was left unturned. And I think that's what's exciting for people. They get to see those details that maybe weren't exposed in the film.